Hi everybody, today is my birthday, March 13. So, Oksana's treating me to one of my favorite steakhouses in Manila. It's called Albert's Steak Room. We're here at the corner of HV de la Costa Street and El Pila Viste in Makati. This steakhouse is one of the best kept secrets here in Manila. There's even no signage. Opened in July 2007 by restaurateur Albert Cuenca, this steakhouse is not easily visible from street level and is located on the third floor of the Sagittarius Building 3. I'm going to share with you my secret spot for the best steak in Manila. The highest USDA grade steaks in the Philippines are at Albert Steak Room as they serve USDA Prime for dinner service which we have previously featured as well as their USDA Choice Prime Rib on the trolley for their lunch service. USDA grading is based on marbling and maturity of the meat. They have an excellent wine cellar as well. Upon entering, you will be Thank pleasantly you. surprised with the level of detail that went into creating the dark wood interiors, cigar lounge, bar, and posh seating for 30 guests. It is quiet and perfect for intimate gatherings. For lunch, we had their USDA Choice Prime Rib Au Jus and their Duck Confit. Make sure to get the King's Cut as it is thicker and will be juicier. For dinner, it will cost more, but we highly recommend their USDA Super Prime Grade Ribeye. You will never look at a steak the same way. Okay. Good afternoon, my name is Deya and I'm your service waiter for today. And this is your champagne. So we ordered a bottle of Bileca Samo, which is one of the oldest champagne houses in France. Founded in 1818. This is actually one of my favorite champagnes in the world. This is the champagne too. Yep. Cheers, my love. Thanks for uh, inviting me out for lunch. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe I'm 18 again. Cheers.
Yes, please. So Oksana got the salad and I got the sopa de ajo, which is their soup of the day. So I'm about to get started with my sopa de ajo. This is a Castilian garlic and bread soup from Spain. This is actually one of my favorite soups from my childhood, from all the Spanish restaurants I've been to. So I get served, quite hot, still steaming. Mm. Has a very gentle garlic taste. There's a little bit of egg in there too. This is a perfect appetizer for the steak to come. So it looks like a garden fresh salad. Got lettuce. Tomatoes. Lolo Rosa. It's nice. I like the dressing. It's a sesame dressing, but it's not like a Japanese dressing with mayonnaise. It's very light, but the flavor is fantastic because I'm a fan of sesame. Indigenous fresh. Simple salad, but super yummy. One inch king's cut. Bone in. Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you. And you're bringing on some Jew, right? Yeah. It's going to be. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get started. Oh, there. First radish. You know, just So I ordered the prime rib, King's Cut, here at Albert's. This is what they serve for, for lunch. And this is a classic roast beef preparation made from beef rib primal cut and usually roasted with the bone and served with its natural jus. So that's actually one of my favorite parts here is the jus because you get unlimited jus here and this stuff is just so savory and flavorful. Let me pour a little bit of jus on top. You might want to go closer with this. Oh yeah. Hey, let me get started with the cut right here. Mm. Keep in mind, this is the king's cut, so it's one inch thick. It has all that meaty good goodness. Oh wow. Truffled mashed potatoes. I call this heaven on a plate. 
The only other restaurant that used to serve prime rib on the trolley was this restaurant at the Intercon called Prince Albert, but that already closed down when the Jalan closed down. So this is the best place to get prime rib at the moment. Cheers, guys. That is one satisfied customer. Duck confit is actually one of my favorite classic French dishes of all time. So I'm gonna have to dig into that as well. Got my wish ready. Looks like some kind of cheesecake. Am I right? Cheesecake, yeah. It seems like but it's not so soft. How about ice cream? It's very interesting ice cream. <laughs> it's not even cold. <laughs> very interesting. Very... It tastes like more like a mousse. Mm -hmm. It's a mousse. Mm -hmm. Very strong chocolate flavor. I almost dropped it there. On your lens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a mousse. Even this chocolate is melted. Mm. It's like a white chocolate bar. Mm. Mm. Nice way to end the meal. The dessert is complimentary with your meal. Hi guys, so I'm with Albert Cuenca, the proprietor and owner of Albert Steak Room. This is, as I've said before, the best steakhouse in Metro Manila and probably the Philippines. Oh, thank you, I agree. <laughs> Albert, can you tell us a little bit about the concept? Well, uh, we're now over 10 years old. We started in late July of 2007. And uh, we believe in a single concept being that uh, we wanted to be a, you know, we didn't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none. So we specialize in a singular concept, which is just to make steaks 
and we believe that by doing that, there's no way you can be bad at it. You know, if, if you're focused and you're honed in on one single skill, you can be the best at that. And that's what we set out to be, is the best steakhouse that you, know, you would have here in Manila. That's great. So we actually came for uh, their prime rib, but you know what's even better than the prime rib? Their super prime ribeye, which they only serve for dinner. Yeah. So that's what you guys should check out. Yep. I Thanks, Albert. Thank you very much, and happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>